incident, then the detailed information about the incident will be provided. You are requested to take notes while listening, answer the questions, and write an incident report afterwards. The recording will be played only once. Part 1. Incident Overview On the 19th of March 2002, at about 945 hours, a local woman of Serb ethnicity named Namisa Mach, residing at number 45 in Sulunci Dobran Street, map reference 240 to 445, date of birth 18th of July 1971, came to the IPTF Novigrad station, Sarajevo, and complained of being assaulted by local police. Duty officer Christian Sandeep, CP 3416647, received her. According to the complainant, she was walking home on the 18th of March 2002 around 1800 hours, when she was stopped by the local police about 50 meters east of the Makata supermarket, map reference 239 to 450. The local police told her she had been identified by a woman named Almaya Sada, Bosniak ethnicity, date of birth 23rd of March 1965, residing close to the mosque, of stealing 1,000 US dollars from her house a week ago. The complainant, Namisa, denied the offence and one of the local police began to beat her on the spot with a stick on her head. The other one slapped her face and attacked her with his fist on her breast. She fell to the ground, bleeding from her mouth, but they continued to kick her in her head and back. She sustained light body injuries and in due course, many onlookers crowded round and condemned the police behaviour. On that the above-mentioned police officers dragged her up brutally, put her in a police car and took her to the local police station. In the police station, she was cursed and insulted by more police officers. Later, she was locked up in a cell for the whole night without informing her family and she was given nothing to eat and drink and there was no personal hygiene facility. What was worse was that during the night, she was visited four times by the night shift police officers and again beaten. She was told to admit to the crime if she wanted the beating to stop. She almost fainted. Eventually, she admitted to the crime. She then went to UN Civpol station to complain against the local police. She also stated that she did not commit the crime, but admitted only to make the beating stop and to be set free. On recalling the first two police officers who stopped her and brought her to the police station, she gave the following descriptions. Both of them are male and about 30 years old. One was short and stout, about 1 meter 70, round-faced and with a moustache. The other was slightly built, thin-faced with short and curly hair. On receiving this report, Duty officer recorded it and informed the victim to report to the local police station. The case is open for the LP and IPTF. The case is under investigation and IPT IPTF would follow this matter. Part 2. Dialogue. I'm the duty officer Christian Sandeep. Can I help you, madam? I want to complain about the local police. What's it? They beat me up. Tell me what happened. I was walking home last night when I was stopped by two local police officers. What time was it? Nine o'clock last night. Why did they beat you up? They said I stole a thousand US dollars one week ago. I said I did not know what they were talking about. And they began to beat me. I fell to the floor. What did they do then? They arrested me and took me to the police station and I stayed there for five hours. They came four times to beat me up. They told me they would stop beating me if I admitted. What did you tell them then? I admitted eventually. Did you steal the money? No. I admitted just to stop the beating. What kind of injuries did you get? One broken rib and there are bruises on my head and back. Did you know them before? 
I've never seen them before. Okay. I will write a report, and you and Sipo will investigate this matter. Thank you, we'll, and we'll be in touch.